All right, good evening, guys. Um, tonight, I'm going to be going over Module 5, SAM Project 1B. Um, before we get started, I always tell you to download all the files. There's three for this particular project, and you will need all three. Um, as soon as you open up either uh, Word or Excel, and you see this yellow bar across the top that says Protected View, automatically hit enable editing or you're not going to be able to do anything with it so i'm going to click on that all right um and then the next thing that we always know is to edit the file name from one to two um and then just make sure you have the other the that support file that also got downloaded you're going to need that for one of the steps all right so let's see Let's come over to project steps. All right, so it says Allison Kenyon is on our finance committee of the Jefferson School Foundation, an organization that raises funds for schools in the Jefferson School District. Allison is tracking sales from four cookie dough fundraisers held during the year. Okay, whatever. And then it says uh, she has an elementary school, middle school, and a high school worksheet. And they all have the same structure and the same data. So if you remember, this is exactly what 1A was. Um, it says right off the bat, group the elementary school, middle school, and high school worksheets to make changes to all the three at the same time. All right. So remember how I showed you how to group? So we're going to go click on elementary school the tabs are down here click on elementary school I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on middle school and high school and they should be grouped some of yours will have a green that goes straight across if you right click on any of these you'll see it says ungroup don't click that that just means that it is grouped all right if you click on middle school you'll see that this has the green line if I click back on documentation let's see this is not linked okay so you can see that these three are definitely linked all right all right then the next thing it said let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger the words for you I've come down to here instead okay all right let me go back to home all right, so then it says, um, do, 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 the first change is to display today's date. Okay, we did this before too. So in cell B3, B3 right here, um, enter a formula using the today function to display today's date. We should know this one. Equals today, forward, um, forward parenthesis, close parenthesis. That's it, enter. Okay, um, the one thing that you could get used to doing is putting on the caps lock because a lot of the functions, if you notice, they're in, in, in all caps and most of the stuff is. Just remember if you have to type someplace, like type out a title to change that case. Um, I usually leave my caps on just to be quicker. Uh, okay, let's see. Number two, find each instance of the text pistachio cranberry on the three worksheets and then change it to pumpkin spice all right well see now i gotta take my caps lock off and let's look for pistachio cranberry and it wants us to change it to pumpkin spice oh that's way off pumpkin spice and i'm going to come down here and i'm going to do the same thing pumpkin Space. I'm going to click out. Now, like, I'm paranoid. I'm going to check middle school and get you bigger because you're real small. Okay. Pistachio cranberry. It's supposed to be pumpkin spice. So they're not, they're not linked right. All right. Let's try this again. I swear it said it. All right. Let's try to link. Let's have this one and this one, and they should be linked. It says ungroup. 
All right, let's try this again. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to type in again. So this way, the other, oh, lowercase s, I'm sorry. The other um, pages get a chance to, to change. So hold on. Okay, there it is. All right, so it did. I checked middle school and I checked high school. So you could see pumpkin spice is there. So now we are grouped. All right, let me go back to elementary school and I'm going to retype this because this is one that wasn't coming through. All right, let's see. All right, there it is. Okay, now we know we are linked. All right. Okay, number three says use the text in the H5. Use the text in the H5. H5. Okay. Uh, to, 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 to fill in the remaining I, K to K, K, to I5 to K5 with the remaining quarters. So remember the months one, September and on, or May and on it was? I'm just going to come and I'm going to make my little star. And I'm going to go there. That was it. Pretty simple. All right. Number four. Create a cell style named notes based on the formatting in the merge cell H8. All right, so the next thing that I do would be to come up here. This is where our cell styles are. I'm going to do a drop down and I'm going to say new cell style and I'm going to type in the word N-O-T-E-S, notes. I'm going to hit OK. If I click in here, you'll see the new one is right there right there all right so the next one says to merge the cells h6 to k6 that's these guys i'm going to come over here and i'm going to highlight h6 to k6 and we know how to merge the center but this just wants us to merge so i'm going to click down and it's the next one that says merge across merge across you're done and then it says 4C, apply the new note cell style. This is kind of easy. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to come get our new one that we just created, notes. Okay. What's next? Allison thinks each school should have a chance of increasing the average number of fundraiser items sold to 125 in the quarter for next year. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. She wants us to project the average number of items sold next year by filling in the series. Okay, there's that word. For the first projection, um, range H7, H7 to K7, to K7. And it says, with a linear trend. Well, you know how to do this. I'm going to come up to fill. I'm going to go to series. And... She said she wanted a linear trend. So a linear and trend. Don't touch anything else. Hit OK. Simple. Now, because we already know what Allison wants, she wants us to project the next one, so H9 to, uh, to K9. She wants us to do a second projection based on the growth series using a 1.05 as a step value. All right, so H9 to K9, come up, go to Fill, go to Series. Now, it's a growth series, so it's a growth series, not a trend, this is nothing about trend, and it has a step value of 1.05. It says nothing about a stop, don't put it in. Hit OK. Perfect. All right, number seven. Allison wants to consolidate this year's sales data for the elementary, middle, and high school on the all schools. Okay, now we get to this one. So remember, this was all locations. Now it's all schools. Okay, I'm going to click here. Let's make this bigger for you guys. All right. Um, ungroup the worksheets and go to the all schools worksheet. All right, let's make sure these are ungrouped. Just right click on them, and if it doesn't say anything about being grouped, you're not grouped. 
All right. So, do, 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 do. 7A, in cell C6, C, all schools, C6, remember this is exactly like it. Um, NRF formula using the sum function and a 3D reference to total the number of chocolate chip cookie pack packages sold in cell B6 in Jefferson Elementary, Middle, and High School. Okay. So, why we can't have these grouped to do this is beyond me, but you group them during your, the, um, the creation of the formula, okay? So, we're in B, now I'm sorry, C6, and I'm going to hit equal. I'm going to put my caps lock back on, and I'm going to type the word S-U-M, and I'm going to bring begin that parenthesis. Remember how you said stop? Now, go um, click on elementary school. Now hold your shift key down, click on middle and high school, take your finger off that shift key, and we're going to go to B6, because that's what we're referencing, okay? And then you're just going to hit the enter key, enter. It'll automatically bring you back to the all schools page, and you should have something like a 71. So in other words, it should be elementary school, B6 was 24, middle school, is 24 and then the high school was something different so add them up and they come out to 71 okay all right copy the formula in cell c6 to calculate all the rest of the stuff so just like before we're going to fill in this entire thing okay it tells us to do this one this column first and then these i don't know why i'm gathering it's because the 71 is in the way so they are Two technically, you got to do two technically different procedures, um, but they are the exact same. So, copy for B6. I'm going to put my mouse on C7, go down to C10, go to paste, but remember, do that second one. There you go. And then come back up here without even doing anything else. Don't click anywhere. And then come and do paste for the second one. All right. Now, because we didn't know this was actually happening, Allison also wants us to do the same darn thing to C15 and, uh, and then copy as well. All right, so ready? C15 equal SUM beginner parenthesis. Click on elementary school. Uh, the cell is B15 because it's C15. And we're going to hold down the shift key and click on middle and high. We're going to let go of that shift key. We're going to click on B15, and we're going to hit the enter key. And we're back at all schools. Okay, here we go. Ready? The next one, of course, says copy. So B15, copy, highlight, paste, the second one. Highlight quarter, two, three, and four, only to the sugar. Don't go to total and go to paste, second one. Perfect, we're on eight. All right, eight happens to be everybody's favorite. That's the round up one. So, Allison wants to round up all the total sales. So in cell C20, we're still in all schools, okay? Basically, what we did was, we're pulling in all the information from these cells, so we only have to look at one. All right, so that's what this whole thing is all, all about. So in cell C20, C20, add the roundup function to display the quarter sales rounding up to zero decimal places. All right, so I'm still on C15, my little marching ant guys, and I need them off. So I'm going to hit the escape key, okay? Whenever you're in need or you get stuck, hit that escape key. It's the top left key of your keyboard, and it says ESC, escape, okay? If there's anything else that gets stuck, try to click somewhere on a white spot, and then it might clear itself, and then you might even have to hit the escape key again. But just in case, in case you get stuck, that's what you do. All right, let's get to our roundup thing. So in cell C20, there you go, I got my nice green guy. Add the roundup one, right? In between the equals and the sum, 
I still have my caps lock lock on. I'm going to type the word Roundup, R-O-U-N-D-U-P, beginner parenthesis. You notice how my two C15 to C19, they're red. That's because it's saying that, that it wants to round up the sum of C15 to C19. So I need to end the equation with a comma. And then because it runs this to round up zero decimal places, I'm going to go zero. And I'm going to end that comp, that uh, parenthesis and hit enter. Now, there you go. This is now zero, zero. Okay. If I hit control Z, it was three, four, four, zero, zero, two. Go forward. So it rounds it up. All right. Now she wants us to fill the range D20 to F20. So you're going to get that little black plus, and you're going to drag that all the way across to F20. <gasps> Only this one, F20. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I have my support one open. Now remember me telling you about that yellow line. This next step will not work if this is here. So enable editing. Click. All right. Now let's go back and read this. Open the file support. We got it right here. And then 9B says in cell G22 of Allison's workbook. Allison's workbook is our main one. G22 is right here. I have it um, highlighted. It wants us to insert a formula using the external reference to cell F20 in the support one. So I'm going to, in our main one, I'm going to hit equal, sum, begin a parenthesis. And then instead of just going to a different tab, we're going to go to a different workshop.